quick video this morning. So, I have this doctor's appointment today. I have, I think, set my mind right that whatever the conversation is with her, I know that I am doing the right things to improve my health. I will be open to any suggestions that doesn't involve medical procedures. And um, I will be open to getting my blood work done um, to see if I have prediabetes or diabetes. And uh, if I do, I am going to <clears throat> continue working on what I can do to um, become non-diabetic through weight loss, exercise, and managing my diet. Because I just, I think it's a slippery slope once you are on medication. Um, and I know that there are other side effects associated with the medication too. So the best way to do this is through getting enough sleep, making sure I don't um, have too much stress, eating lots of fruits and vegetables, and limiting refined sugars. That's just what this is. I mean, this, I think most people who have dieted most of their life, like I have, know the latest health, health information backwards and forwards. This isn't something we don't already know. The challenge is putting it into practice in our lives, I would say 90% of the time. I think if you do it 90%, the 10%, if you have, uh, you know, desserts or you don't work out or things like that, I think that that's just called, you know, rejuvenation and balance. But if you do this most of the time, you should be okay. So instead of all or nothing thinking, I'm, I'm focusing on what I can do to do better and to do better most of the time. Because I think that's what being human is. It's not an absolute, just because we're not wired that way.